Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with episode 22 of Zero Hero. I have a little bit of an echo in the background. I did get moved, so I'm still setting up here, so I'm in a big empty room at the moment. I apologize for the sound quality. Um, also, before my move, I didn't have time to make a Zero to Hero episode, and my gold was going to get deleted from my mailbox. So I collected a little over 8,000 gold without making a video. Uh, from transmog sales and other sales of vendor items. Uh, so that's why we're a little bit higher in the gold than the last episode. <clears throat> so let's get into it right away. Start collecting some of these sold auctions. I posted my items a couple times, so you see some of these are expiring 28 days, some of them are 19, 20, and there's a couple at 18. So there is a couple separate post scans in here that we're going to go through. Uh, starting with Ancestral Woolies right off the bat, Transmog. Uh, Vanishing Powder for 1 gold 42, a couple of those, three of them. Um, incessant Torch. Now, I had these in my original Transmog group. Uh, they do not sell fast enough. I don't find that wand Transmogs work very well. Um, you know, there's probably some demand for it, but not enough for me, so I was getting out of that item. So I just posted on the auction house for 25 gold or whatever, and uh, just sold it off to, to get rid of it more than anything. So that's what that's from. Uh, Scarlet Filgreed shirt is one of the shirts that you buy here in Dalaran, sold for 500 gold. Glimmering Male Pauldrons, Transmog Shoulders, 250. Evan Filgreed Double, Doublet, whatever it is. Uh, 95 gold, that's bought here in Dalaran. Enduring Breastplate, sold for 229, Transmog Breastplate. Uh, Vanishing Powder, 1 gold, 42. Bindings, so that would be Bindings of the Depths. I believe that is um, Bracers. Maybe something that I bought to flip. I believe that that's where that came from. Uh, 150 gold on that item. Chanting Vellum, 1 gold, 54. Uh, Strange Dust, a stack of two for two gold. Tome of the Clear Mind for 1 gold, 55. A couple of those. Blood Fist Girdle back into Transmog, 268 gold for that. Blazing Gloves, sold for 299. Now off after the Auction House cut here, I'm getting 285, so Auction House does take their share. <clears throat> a stack of 20 coal for almost 40 gold. Two of those, actually. Mystic Slippers, that's uh, low-level cloth gear, I believe, 299. Shin Blade for 225. Another Vanishing Powder. Uh, Dust of Disappearance, 1 gold, 96. Cleft Hoof Belt, Leather Belt, 164. Battle Forge Gauntlets for 350, that's a nice one. Infantry Tonic, something that I was selling as Transmog gear and just wanted to get rid of. Um, I probably could have disenchanted it and got just as much, but either way it's gone for 4 gold. Engraved Girdle, 518 gold. That's a really good one. Bone Shredder Gloves, 250. Bone Shredder Wrist, again with those bracers. <laughs> 300 gold on those. Tome of the Clear Mine, 2 gold. Oh, that must have been a stack for 20 gold. <clears throat> kind of skipped through it. Here's another one. Yeah, so a stack of 20 for 21 gold. And then uh, a couple singles here for just under 2 gold each. And then another stack of 20 for 21 gold. Uh, a formula enchant bracer dodge. Just a cheap bracer enchant. I probably bought it for 5 gold or less and at least doubled up on it. So nothing huge, but still profit. A Dust of Disappearance for 1 gold 96. Another one of those infantry tonics that I spoke about getting rid of for 4 gold. And the infantry leggings for 4 gold. In total today, I think that's everything. Yep, we collected 4,408 gold from a couple post scans. And as I mentioned, I need to restock a lot of stuff. Uh, the last couple episodes, I've been checking my auctions and collecting gold and stuff like that, but I haven't actually been buying anything. So I'm going to start today with my shopping and do a transmog search with my transmog group here. 
So I will pause the video and start it back up once that scan's done. All right, guys, we're back done the transmog search scan here. And just gonna buy a few of these items that I need. I have two of these already, so I'll skip over that. Defender Tonic, I only have one, and four gold is very cheap, so I'm just gonna pick up a second one of those. I'm tempted to buy another one of these. Stamina Spirit, uh, Stamina Intellect. Maybe if there was like an Agility Stamina or something, I might go ahead and buy a third one, uh, just for maybe somebody leveling up that could use it. So in the meantime, I think I'll just uh, skip those two. And moving on, Grunt Bracers, I'll buy those. Cheap enough, there's three of them on there. I'm gonna skip the other ones. All right, Sage's Circlet, I have one, but it's only five gold, so I'll pick up a second one. Hacking Cleaver, I have one of those. They don't sell that great. They have a low market value, I'm gonna only keep the one of that. Defender Leggings, I have two. Burnished Shield, I have one. Strength Stamina, I will pick up a second one of those. Mystics Woolies, I um, believe I sold one of those. Maybe it was Warden's Woolies, it was something like that. Either way, I will buy a second one. <clears throat> Defender Gauntlets, I have two. Scouting Bracers, two. I only have one of these, has a low market value. I think I'll skip it for now. Try to find some better transmog gear. Bender leggings too. Headhunter's belt. I don't have any of those. Market value on this round was 500 gold. Average is about 250. So 10 gold's a good deal for that one. Conquer shoulders. I have one of those. It is intellect spirit, so it's got pretty decent stats. Uh, I, sometimes when I'm buying my transmog gear, I'm not only looking at how it looks, but you also, if they have decent stats on them, you have a second market of people leveling up. And as we know, there's no BOA boots, so boots are always a necessity. So I think I'll buy one of the two of those. Uh, Glyft Helm, I don't have any, so I'll buy that. Actually, there's two. I'm just going to take them both, and then I can reset the price, hopefully. Actually, there's some more down here, but we'll just forget about those and post them at a regular price. Enduring Shield... Take one of those. Chieftain's headdress, I have one, not a big seller, so I'm gonna skip it. I have one of those, two. All right, what do we have here? Defender Bracers, I don't have any, so I'm gonna buy one of those. And there is a second one, I'm just gonna buy them both. I like to keep two of everything, uh, unless it's extremely slow selling, or it has a low market value like this one. I already have one. I see the market value is only about 20 gold. That means there's lots of them available. Keeps the price low, so I'll just keep the one. Now the Gothic Plate Bracers, I will buy one of those. I don't have any. Evanhold Bracers has a higher market value. Um, and I only have one of them, so I think I'll pick up that. Swashbuckler's Leggings, I don't have any. Take those. This has a lower market value. It's cloth with agility spirit on it. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. It's good for transmog, yes, but I'm also looking at the stats sometimes when it comes to some of the slower selling transmog gear like that. Duskwoven sandals have one, have one of those. Jump down here. Catalyst bracers, straight agility, those are good. There's that head wrap again, it bounced down on me. All right, one of these swords, I'll take one of those. Machnathal Battle Axe of the Falcon. Glyft Mitts, I don't have any of those, so we'll take that. Uh, Nightshade Girdle, some of the stuff is bouncing around, like if it's the same price, if I buy one here, this may jump up top, so you kind of got to keep your eye on that when you're working with TSM, for doing your buying, anything that's 20 gold, if you buy something here, then these may bounce up above what you already looked at, so you got to keep your eye on that sometimes too, I noticed, alright, where were we, here somewhere, um, Painbringer, low market value. I don't really find that one a great seller. I th think I'll skip it. Then again, who 
requires level 53. Yeah, see, straight stamina would be good for a blood DK, but it's only level 53. DK's a little higher than that, so oh, I'm going to skip it. <clears throat> Skeddy's Spalders, kind of a slow selling item, but I don't have any, so I like to keep one. Painbringer jump down. Mighty Boots, take one of those. Everything's bouncing around on me here. Just looking at mainly the quantity that I have. So Captain's Bracers, I don't have any of those. I'll take one. And Revenant Boots, I have one. But Revenant Gear usually sells okay. I don't mind keeping two of those. I have two of the belts already. It is strength stamina, it's pretty good stats. There's no BOA belts. I'm gonna actually gonna take a third of those. And you'll kind of get a feel as you go along of what, what sells okay and what's slower. Um, Mercurial gear, for example, is a little bit slower. Straight intellect though, I think I'll take two of those. Captain's Bracers, um, I bought one already, so I'll take a second one. See, there's three on there. <clears throat> Disciples Robe, I have two. Warlord's Helm, I don't have any, so I'll buy one of those. Warmonger's Chest, I have one. Um, I'm gonna skip that one. Just looking at the stats and market value. Not too happy about it, so. War Paint Bindings. War Paint Gear is kind of slow selling, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna buy it. Magician Staff. Slow selling, I do have one. Left toe if I have all these. And here we have Blood Knight Bracers, so I'll buy one of those. I don't have any yet. Other Mystics Woolies, I did buy one, so I'm going to skip over that. Lords Pauldrons, I don't have any. Take those. <clears throat> Lords Pauldrons, again. Uh, I think I'll skip that. I only need one for now. Conqueror's Helm, I'll take one of those. Centennial Shoulders, buy one of those. There is a bunch of them here, so I'll pick up two. I'll take the one with Agility Stamina over Spirit Stamina. Crusader Leggings, I don't have any, so I'll buy one. I have some of those. Fear Smaller, again, not a very good selling transmog item, and I may even take that out of my group eventually, so I'm going to skip that for now. And just moving down here, nudge, another Nightshade Girdle. Um, Agility Intellect. Ugh, I think I'll skip that one. If it had some better stats, I might pick up a second one, but uh, I have one of those. Battlefield Destroyer. Low market value. Another one that should come out of the transmog group. Just not enough demand for that. Gothic Plate Girdle. Straight Strength. Level 40 Plates. Uh, as soon as Plate Classes can use Plate Gear, it's level 40. And it's got good stats. Straight Strength. So I'm actually going to pick that one up too. Silver Thread Pants, I have one already, but Silver Thread Set sells okay, so I'm going to pick up a second one of those. Uh, buy a second one of these shields. <clears throat> Nether Stalker Armor, I don't have any. Nether Stalker is kind of slow selling. That's kind of a toss up. Um, it's male gear and it's straight strength, so it's not really the primary stat of a, of a hunter or shaman with those stats, so I think I'll skip that one for now. Might be able to find one cheaper in the future. Ranger Helm, don't have any low market value though. I'm gonna buy it just to have it. Captain's Breastplate. That's, that's a pretty decent one. I already have two though. I think I'll skip that one for now. Captain sells okay, but it's not amazing or anything. And just going through the list here. Plate, level 42, strength, stamina. 
I already have one, I'm gonna buy the second one. Skip that. I bought two of those. Fell Iron Shield. Low market value, kind of a common shield, but people do buy it for transmog. Uh, the stats aren't great on it, but I think I'll buy one just to have one. Another Gothic Plate Shoulders. I have two. I think that's going to be good for me. Take a pair of these shoulders. And I'll take those ones too. Intellect Spirit. That's fine. Unyielding Waistband. I'll take one of those. Scouting Braces. I have two. Defender Tonic. I have one of these. Staffs. I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. <laughs> I'll take one. Huntsman's Leggings. I have one. Battle Forge Wrist Guards. I have one. Not a bad set, but low market value. Decent stats, though. I think I'll skip it for now. Let's go through here. Bless Wind Hammer. Drops a few different places. <clears throat> um, pretty common item. There's a couple of them on there. Uh, I guess I'll buy one just to say I have one. Scouting trousers. These usually sell okay. There's three of them there and I already have two. There's another one there. I'm going to skip that. I just bought one of those shields, the second one, so I'll skip that. Heavy lamellar. Don't have any, so I'll buy one. Shadow Council, I have one. Counselor's Gloves, I don't have any. Uh, neither one has great stats, and we're kind of pushing high into the market value for those. Even though I'm not going to sell them for less than 150, I still like to keep my eye on that stuff, so I'm going to skip those and take this bone. A Buccaneer's Cord, rather. Take one of those. Scouting Gloves, I'll buy those. I have three of these gauntlets, so I'll skip that. I have those. Let's see what's next. Buccaneer's Cord, another one. I'm going to skip that one. I just bought one. Burnished Tunic is a really common item. It doesn't have random enchants. If there's a Burnished Tunic, it's all the same. Um, I'll buy one just to have it, but again, that's about the most I paid for that item, I think. Wolf Riders leggings, that's a good deal. That one's worth about four to six hundred gold. Hopefully we'll sell it for more than that, but looking at the market value. And sometimes you sell for higher than the market value. Just because the market value says one thing doesn't mean somebody won't buy it for more. And I can probably show you an example of that in a moment. Uh, Cutthroat's hat, I'll buy one of those. Silver Thread Boots, take those. Take both of those, actually. Go through. There's another Scouting Gloves. Scouting Gear usually sells okay. What were those boots? Elegant Boots. Uh, I'll buy one. Gotta have some stock to sell. Righteous Way Scared, I'll take one of those, too. <clears throat> Scouting belt, I'll take that. All right, moving down, there's another scouting belt. Might as well have two. Traveler's jerkin, buy one of those. Buy two of those, I guess. I'm not gonna buy the third. I'll just leave it on there. Sometimes it's good to buy it out and reset the prices. I'd prefer just to keep a couple of each in stock. Regal robe. Buy one of those. Blood Fist Helmet. I thought I bought one of those, but maybe not. So I will pick one up. Venture's Tonic. I have one. I'm gonna, hmm, straight Agility. Stats are okay. Why not? Barbaric Cloth Boots. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Jazzerant boots. Don't have any of those, so I'll take one. 
Some of this stuff is rather common, but I like to keep one of them anyway. This razor axe, I didn't find it sold very well. And it's got a low market value, so I'm going to skip that one. <clears throat> and bandit boots, that's a good one. I'll take those. They sell all day. Have one of those. Oh my gauntlets. All right. Shadow Council Pants. Not a great seller. I'm going to skip that one for now. Uh, what else do we have? Ranger Helm. I bought one of those already, so I won't worry about that. Unyielding Helm. Not great. I think I'll skip that. Prospector Sash. I'll take that, though. Oh, there's three of them. Hmm. Actually, there's four. I think I'll just buy two and forget the other one. Uh, yeah. Silver Thread Boots. <clears throat> I'm going to buy those. I'm going to buy both of them. That gives me four. More than enough. Jousters. I'll take that. There's three of them. Uh, I don't want to get too much stuff here. So I'll just... I'm just going to buy the two. Keep my stock. Sometimes good buy to reset it, but I just don't want to sit on a bunch of stuff. Have a whole whack of auctions to repost. This is not my main account. Uh, just having some fun here, making some gold for something to do. Gothic plate armor. I have one. I'm going to buy a second one. There's four of them there, but I'm only going to buy one. Lord Skirtle. I have one, so let's pick one with the best stats. Um, male strength stamina 45. No. Stamina intellect. Agility Stamina. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Agility Stamina. Enduring Belt. Take one of those again. Board with a nail in it. <laughs> I have one. It's not a huge seller. Uh, these Buccaneer Gloves seem to sell okay, though. I might buy all three of these. Mystical head wrap again. I skipped that already, so I'm not going to pay more for one. Conqueror's breastplate sells okay, but it's kind of it's it's one of those items that's very common. You know what I mean? Like it shows up often, and I have three of them, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, after Hood, I have two. Cheap brigadier sh shield. I'll buy one of those. There's four of them. Holy, one's enough. Warmongers, Greaves, I have one, I'll take a second one. There's another Buccaneers Gloves. I already bought three, I'm not gonna go too crazy, so. And there's a bunch of the Conqueror's Breastplates showing up as well, so glad I didn't buy that. Centennial Breastplate, don't have any of those yet. Silver Thread Pants, I already bought a second one, so I'm gonna skip that one. And make it through all these Conqueror's Breastplates. Oh, runner's slippers. I don't have any of those. Chieftain's boots jumped its way up there. Buccaneer's robe. I have both of those. Pages of Conqueror's breastplate. I won't be selling that anytime soon. <clears throat> Unless they put their prices up. Huntsman's gloves. Nope. Sunrock. Uh, that's got to come out of my group. I don't find that sells very well. Oh, runner's... There's another boots. I'll take a second boots. Hmm. Counselor's gloves. I'll buy one. There's some scouting trousers. I have two already. Scouting gear usually sells okay though. Um, blood scale helm. I'll take that. And I think I'm going to buy both of these as well. Both of these scouting trousers. Popular because it's like a black leather. Oh, there's all kinds of them on there. Kind of want to reset that price. So I'm going to pick them all up. I have two of the boots already. Do I want a third? That's good enough. Burning War Axe, what's that? Uh, that's kind of a common drop. 
Not so much transmog. Maybe people would use it, but I'm going to skip it. Do I have one? No, I don't. Let's buy it. <clears throat> what else do we have here? These are kind of common, and they're almost 100 gold. I think I'll hold off on this chest guard and wait to find something cheaper someday. Scouting gloves, I'll take those. Overlord's leg plates, I'll buy those. I'll buy both. I don't have any. Lord's crown, I don't have any, but it's... I think I'm going to skip it for now. If it was cheaper, I'd probably pick one up just to have one. But uh, just the model of it, it's very common. So, tougher sale. Huntsman, I'll buy a couple of each of those. What do we have here? Knight's head guard. Uh, I'll buy one. It's pushing it. I only want one, though, no, at that price. Sage's Pants, I don't have any, so I'll buy one of those. Captain's Waist Guard, I'll buy one. And anything else here I don't have? Almost at my 100 gold max. That's the most I typically pay for transmog gear, unless it's something amazing. Swashbuckler Shoulders, I don't have any. Field Plate Boots, I don't have any of those. Oh, maybe somebody already got... Nope, there it is. Another field play boots. Intellect strength. I'm going to skip it. If it had decent stats, I'd probably buy the second one. Same with that chest that I've talked about earlier. There's another captain's waist guard. Decent stats, so I'll buy a second one. I had one of those shoulders. Not a big seller, so... Skip that for now. And what else do we have? Silver thread boots. I already got like four of those. I'm going to skip it. Battle Forge shoulder guards. Usually a decent seller, so I'll pick up those. Blood Knight helm. Kind of a unique model, so I'll take a couple of those. Buccaneers cord. I bought one already. Sage's Mantle. Hmm. There's a few of them on there. I think I'll skip it. Laughing Skull I have. Anything else worth buying here? What's this Twilight Robe look like? Yeah, I don't have any of those. Let's buy it. Astroland Boots. I'll take those. Jouster's Gauntlets, I don't have, so I'll take that. Traveler's Boots, I don't have, I'll buy one of those. <clears throat> Champion's Armor, I have. Enduring Belt, I bought one. I think that's good enough for that for now. Masterwork Breastplate, I don't have any of those. Hmm. Twilight Robe, I just bought one. Battle Forge Shoulder Guards, I'll buy a second one of those. Ancient Pauldrons, I don't have any of that. Bandit Boots, always good. Bandit Boots and Scouting Boots. I actually managed to sell a pair of Scouting Boots on my main account for over 25,000 gold by accident. You know, they usually sell for three or 400 ish, but uh, someone had one posted high, so mine got posted high and mine sold. <laughs> Can't complain about that though. Sage's Mantle, I don't have any. I'll buy one. Might've skipped that earlier and bought one now, whatever. Not too concerned. I think I have some of all this other stuff. Boulder Fist Helm, I don't have. Take one of those. What's this? That's kind of a unique looking shield. I'll buy it. Should be coming to an end here. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the list, so... Let's just see. I think I was around 38,000 gold when I started, so 
spent 8,172 gold on transmog gear, and we got 118 pieces. So that's not too bad. I'm going to get this stuff reposted, and then I'm probably going to have a look on maybe the Undermine Journal or second, so for a second rather. So once I get to that, I'll restart the video and catch you guys up. All right, and now I'm back. So I brought up the Undermine Journal for my realm. And of course, I'm looking for things that are far to the left and that there's a small amount available. So this oscillating or oscillating power hammer, there's, it's on there for 16 gold and I checked and it is there. 16 gold so I'm gonna buy that and see what else is here so far to the left but there's ten of them I'm gonna skip that um, I'll skip that as well Not too many deals on the high pop servers it's harder to find a bargain <laughs> Go down here to dropped uncommon, so sometimes we can find our transmog gear in here. Likely stuff I've already bought. Uh, I think I bought these, but I'm gonna look them up anyway. Wolf Rider. Yeah. Wolf Rider's leggings, I had them posted there for 600 gold. So I bought those already. Celestial Tonic, what is that? cheapest one. I think this drops in AQ actually. I remember seeing this the other day when I was doing a little bit of transmog farming on my main account. Um, it's not in my transmog group yet, but I think I'm going to buy that. <clears throat> I mean, the gold's doing no good sitting in my bag. It, it might as well be invested in something and Hope to make a profit off of it. Champions Monarch Topaz. 25 gold. It's going to have a bit of a high posting fee. But I'm going to buy that and resell it. Anything else here? Uh, 500 gold. I don't think I want to invest that much. Crafted items I usually avoid completely. Sometimes there's a cheap pet or mount. Uh, I think I'm going to skip that. Miscellaneous, skip that stuff. Potential low bids. Now, what I've encountered with the low bids is most of the time you either forget about it and get outbid or the person cancels the auctions. <laughs> I've had that happen a lot. So like this is Black Forge Gauntlets, for example, the bid's only 76 silver. Um, the buyout price is 583. So they know what they're worth. Um, but uh, from my experience, when I bid on them, people cancel them. <laughs> So I, I don't know, I just, I don't bother with it personally. Uh, sometimes if it has a low bid, sometimes it also has a low buyout. So this may not be very good to sell. However, for 53 silver, I could disenchant that. You know what I mean? And make profit off of it that way. So you kind of keep your eye on that stuff as well. Same as these here. Could disenchant that for profit. Uh, so that's all I'm going to get off of that for now, so I think what I'll do is run the sniper for a second, see if we can snag anybody posting any deals. So I'm gonna let that run for a few minutes, and if I find anything, I will catch you guys up on it. Otherwise, I may go around and do some restocking, so we'll let that go for a few minutes and just see what happens, and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, I'm back. I've let my sniper run about 10 minutes or so. Kind of impatient, so. Ah, it's gonna have to be good enough. It's a Shadow Spirit Diamond. That's pretty cheap for a Shadow Spirit Diamond, but I'm not gonna get into it. What's this repression belt? 
Yeah. Has a higher market value, but not on this realm. Jouster's Visor. I bought two of those already. I see somebody post another one. I'm going to skip it. I don't think there's anything at all here I'm actually going to buy. So, But it is a good way to snag some deals sometimes. I've definitely got a lot of things with the Sniper. Just not today. So what I thought about doing here is creating a restocker operation. Now I'm going to link up my setup guide for the restocker um, in the description. And basically what the restocker does is things that you can't create a crafting operation for. For example, I cannot craft items that I buy from a vendor to sell. So what I'm going to do is make a restocker operation. I'm just going to go to module operations and over to restocker. And this is a separate module you have to install. So you can look up TSM restocker on Curse or wherever you get your add-ons to get it. And I'm going to click on operations and I'm just going to name this one vendor times one. So these are going to be the items that I buy from a vendor. And I could break down my groups so that I keep in stock, let's say, 40 Tome of the Clear Mines and five green dye, whatever. But I'm just going to set it to one for now. Just a quick trial here to see what happens. I'm going to go back to my groups. I'm going to go down to my vendor group. Click on operations. Go down to my restocker. And I'm going to apply that vendor times one operation. Now that I've done that, I'm going to type in chat slash TSM restock. And if you have multiple groups, you can toggle your groups here and you can select all and update and it shows me all my perfect cuts that I'm missing because I don't have any on this tune. I don't want to do that. I just want to do my vendor items. So I'm just going to select that group and just update again. And here I can see that I have zero stock of these vendor items. I've completely sold out of them. So this kind of gives me an idea of what I need to go around and look for instead of just kind of going blind to each vendor and seeing what I'm missing. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to run around and try to gather as much of this stuff as possible without taking too much time. I may skip like the cat carriers and stuff for now. We'll see. I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff and then I will show you guys what I picked up um, in a minute. Well, it'll be a second for you guys, I guess. But uh, I'll catch up in one moment. All right, guys, I'm back in Stormwind now. I collected most of the stuff that was on my list that I was out of. Um, I didn't bother going by the cat carrier out and outside of Stormwind. And Silver Contact is a hit and miss item off the engineering vendors. They're not always available. Uh, but I got everything else, at least one of each. My deficit is zero. That means I have at least one. And I just started the sniper again just to see if anything would show up here. I don't know what that is. It must be a quest item. So, nothing there to buy, so I'm just gonna click on auctioning and start a post scan for these items. Get them relisted. Copper rods are cheap. Ten enchanting vellums. Shirts are a nice price. I see somebody stealing my tactic there doing the same thing. I picked up a couple of these recipes to try as well. Got another titanium toolbox. I sold that. I sold one of those shirts. And stylish black shirt is the cheap shirt that I buy here in Stormwind. Nobody has them listed for sale. So hopefully I get a couple hits on those. They're like a few silver to buy. So if I sell one for 500, it's huge profit. Purple Merrill shirt. And some simple wood, I had sold all of that. Some strong flux, I had one left, so I picked up some more. Then Tome of the Clear Mines, nine gold each. Hopefully we sell some of those. <clears throat> and the Vanishing Powder. And I also managed to pick up a couple enchanting mats here, so I'm just gonna list these manually. And I 
think I'll post these as stacks of one, and I'm just gonna undercut the other stacks of one. Actually, there's one there. Ah, well, I'm gonna ignore it, post it at that. Not a big difference either way. Uh, somebody has some stacks of five there, so let's put a couple stacks of five up, just to undercut them on that. And then let's put four stacks of 20. And I'm gonna put my stacks of 24. Uh, let's go 60 gold stack and see what happens at that price. I see my singles are posted at 9 gold, so they'll be nice to sell as well. And I think that finishes it up for today. I also noticed if I click on high bidder here, I see I have no sold auctions. But if I click on high bidder, I see I have a high bidder on a piece of transmog gear. So that'll be good. I like to keep slightly lower bid price than buy out price on my transmog items. That way if I get a bid, I'm still making profit and maybe mine will show up before someone else's, even if it's not the cheapest. So I like to do that as well. Anyway guys, till next time, check out, uh, check out the description of this video if you want to learn more about the restocker tool that I was using there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check me out, at, check me out on my live stream also linked in the description.